good morning from Lahore, Pakistan's second biggest city. And today I'm going to be taking a flight on Pakistan's newest airline. So let's head across to the airport and take a flight and go on a bit of an adventure. My first challenge today then was to try and figure out how to open a car door. Thank you. With that challenge solved, it was time to head into the airport and check in for my flight across Pakistan. Thank you. The domestic airport here in Lahore is quite nice, if a little bit dated, but it wasn't very busy at all, and it wasn't long before I could check in for my flight. Fly Jinnah. Fly Jinnah. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Thanks very much. Next stop was through security, which again wasn't very busy, and after security I headed along to get myself a cup of coffee. Hello. So can I have an Americano? One Americano? Please, one Americano. And Small then, or medium? Uh, medium, please. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, you know what, I'll just, I'll just grab a cookie, I think. Thank you. Just one, one of these. One of these, yeah, thank you. Alright, then through security, got a cup of coffee. It's very quiet terminal but there's nobody here at all it's really weird um, security was absolutely straightforward when I say straightforward you just drop your bag on the belt and you come through um, she, to be honest she wasn't even looking at the screen as the bags went through which was a bit like okay um, but it's okay <laughs> I think <laughs> but we are on their side now at Lahore Airport got a cookie mm, cookie um, we're flying today on an airline called Fly Jinnah who are a brand new airline here in Pakistan. They've only been going for like three or four months at the time of making this video. They started at the sort of tail end of 2022. Um, and yeah, they fly in like domestic routes around Pakistan. The other cool thing about them is they are the first ever low cost airline here in Pakistan. So it's gonna be interesting to find out what it's like to fly on a Pakistani low cost airline. Um, but um, yeah, should be pretty cool. So pop me cookie. Hmm. A very nice cookie it is too. I decided to head across to the gate and I thought it was quite interesting that although the sign is up saying this is a no smoking airport, it seems that those rules seem to be optional for some people at least. Interesting, everybody who was here waiting for the flight in flight has now just stood up and walked off somewhere. I, I don't know. <laughs> Am I in the right place? There's no the signs sort of gone that says fly generator going from here so i'm wondering if we've got a gate change <laughs> i don't know i might go for a wander in a minute the plane's not actually here yet it's not landed it's still on its way in but i might have to go and have a wander and make sure that i'm not going to miss it i decided to head to the airport information desk to see if they could shed any light hi uh, fly jenna 11. 11 thank you fly jenna so there's my answer, down to gate number 11 I went. It wasn't too long though before the plane turned up and it was time to board my flight down to Karachi. Goodbye sir, thank you. So here we are then, time to get on board Pakistan's first ever low cost airline and I was really excited to see what it was going to be like once I got on board. And it's fair to say I was pretty impressed with what I found once I got on board. I'm good, thank you very much. It's a really nice configuration. It's a standard 33 Airbus A320, but it's really modern and these seats looked really nice. My seat today was right down at the back in the second row from the back of the plane. Right then, welcome on board the Fly Jinnah Airbus A320. Fly Jinnah have only been going for a few months. They are the first ever low cost airline here in Pakistan. Um, they're actually owned in part by Air Arabia, who are the um, Emirati based low cost airline over in the um, Middle East. Um, and it's like a 50% ownership thing with them and a company here in Pakistan. So um, it's quite an interesting setup that they've got um, going on here. They're running flights just at the minute between the main cities. They're based down at um, Karachi 
um, at Jinnah Airport, hence the name. It's obviously named after the guy who founded Pakistan um, many years ago, um, Muhammad Ali Jinnah. So um, that's kind of the story behind the name. And they fly from Karachi all across Pakistan. They fly up here to Lahore, Islamabad, Peshawar and Quetta as well. Um, at the moment, maybe some international expansion in the future as well. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? But um, for now, it's just flights here. I have to say that the air aircraft is pretty comfortable. Um, the seats are quite modern and new. Um, quite nice, quite a smart sort of um, style of the seats. And there's quite a lot of legroom as well. I mean, I'm six foot four and that's my leg room. I think they've got 32 inches of pitch on these things, which is, for a low-cost airline, pretty decent indeed. So, um, yeah, we should be getting on our way pretty soon for our flight out of Lahore down to Karachi. Something that is quite interesting, I've noticed, is that they don't seem to have any safety cards on uh, Fly Gin. And the first airline I've ever flown on that doesn't have safety cards. There's not one in any of the seat pockets, and there's not one in the seat pockets in front of us either is just a little um, menu to buy stuff on board so um, that's interesting that's new um, <laughs> whether it's entirely allowed or legal or not I'm not entirely sure but hey um, there's an exit behind me and there's one up there so <laughs> fingers crossed we'll be all right I do admire their optimism though that we're not going to need it and that's good Oh, and um, also I've just checked under the seat to make sure that there's a life vest there and um, that there's no life vest either so um, yay <laughs> <laughs> Just, we'll keep everything crossed, shall we? Pretty soon we pushed back from the gate and we were shown how to use the non-existent life jackets as well as being referred to the non-existent safety cards as we taxied out to the runway here at Lahore. My flight today then took me southwest from Lahore to Karachi on the south coast of Pakistan. Flight time today was 1 hour and 50 minutes, cruising at 38,000 feet. Right, so being a low cost airline, obviously there's no complimentary food and drink on this flight, but I did pre-order my meal for this flight when I booked the flight. Um, so it be interesting to see what that's like when it shows up. Um, the crew are sort of starting right at the front, um, so they'll be here working their way through the cabin very soon I guess and then we'll get our lunch. There is Wi-Fi on board the plane as well which is pretty cool although it is only available for like in flight entertainment and stuff so you can watch movies and TV on there um, no internet access but um, it's a two-hour flight so you don't really need that I guess but it's pretty cool you can get to watch TV and movies and I have checked the TV section does pass the Big Bang Theory check it does have Big Bang Theory on there but it doesn't have Young Sheldon on it so um, come on fly you know up your game a bit I pre-ordered my meal for this flight and it wasn't long before the crew came around handing out the food. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so my food has turned up. I've gone for a cheeky handy today. That's quite nice. That is really nice. It's also incredibly spicy. It is nice though. Golden Bennett. That's some Vindaloo strength stuff there. <coughs> Crikey. Well, I quite enjoyed my $2 handy, even if I do end up with a backside looking like the Japanese flag tomorrow morning. Thank you to this week's video sponsor, Surfshark, who always come to the rescue whenever I want to watch some British TV when I'm travelling. Surfshark is a VPN provider, and what that means quite simply is that you can use their software to connect to the internet from anywhere in the world and make it look like you're just at home, which has some really good benefits. For instance, I could be sitting here by a sunny pool in Vietnam and um, watching some Top Gear on my phone. It lets me watch EastEnders here in the middle of the Australian outback. Oh yeah, I'll have a Castle Main 4X, please, mate. Cheers. Surfshark even lets me catch up with only fools and horses while I'm here in New York. 
Now, Surfshark are offering you a massive 83% discount plus three months free when you use my promo code Noel Phillips at the link on the screen now. What are you waiting for? Even Baby Shark approves. It wasn't long until we were starting our descent into Pakistan's largest city, Karachi, with the sound of a guy who'd forgotten his headphones providing the audio entertainment for our arrival. Now I don't know about you, but that is one of my top ever annoyances whenever I'm travelling. What gets your goat when you're flying somewhere though? Let me know your top flying frustrations down in the comments. My flight today cost me 87 US dollars or around 14 cents per mile. Overall I thought Flygina were pretty good as low cost airlines go. That being said the lack of safety cards and life jackets was a little bit concerning but I'd like to think that was more of an oversight on this particular aircraft rather than something across the board but if you've flown Flygina before I'd love to hear if you've had them on your flight. Now the guy sitting next to me on this flight spoke no English whatsoever but somehow we managed to communicate and he spent most of the flight talking to me about his farm in rural Pakistan and showing me his collection of goat videos from his farm. As we waited to get off the plane he asked his family member to translate a message for me which absolutely touched my heart. It reads, hi brother, have a happy journey, stay safe, stay strong and stay blessed. God bless you always, brother. Happy Bon Voyage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll enjoy it. My name? My name? Noel. 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 Yes. Noel. Thank you. Safe journey, my friend. Nice. It's fair to say I was beyond touched at the sheer kindness of Ashfaq, a complete stranger before much. this flight who stayed in touch with me through WhatsApp ever since, where I'm kept up to date with the goings on of his farm and of course regular goat videos. <laughs> this kindness of strangers is something I found everywhere I went in Pakistan which helped to cement it as one of my favourite places I've ever Hi, visited. Welcome to Karachi. Now Karachi is the largest city in Pakistan and has some beautiful sights to see. But there was one place I've been wanting to visit for ages and it's right here on the outskirts of the city. Right, so I thought I'd come to the Pakistan Air Force Museum here in um, Karachi. Other air forces are, of course, available. Um, but I've been wanting to come here for quite some time um, and have a little bit of a look around at what they've got here. And it's really cool. 50p, 50p UK, so about 40 cents or 100 rupees here in Pakistan gets you into this museum. And there's all of these really cool fighter jets. So I've come to have a bit of a look around them and see what they've got. The PAF Museum's full of really cool planes to look around and what's more it's right under the final approach to one of Pakistan's busiest air force bases so there's plenty of plane spotting to be done here too. For 50p you can't really go wrong. Right, this is an F6, this is a Chinese knockoff of a Russian MiG um, and the Pakistan Air Force had them back in the 70s flying around. Pretty cool aren't they? I love these old jets aren't they awesome? Just think of the things that these planes have seen man and just where they've been, the action that they've seen, just incredible, wow. Ah, oh, this is my sort of plane now, Antonov An-12. Wow, these things are awesome, aren't they? Look at this. I'm guessing used as a transport plane or something by the PAF, pretty cool. Now this one, it looks like someone sat on it. <laughs> what is this thing? What is this thing? I don't know. Pretty cool though. Ah, the Antonov AN26. Love them planes. Ridden on one of those over in Russia. Pop a link on the screen to that video. Such a cool plane and amazing to ride on as well. Wow. As I walked around the museum geeking out, it soon became clear that one of the more popular old ancient beaten up machines on display here was, in fact, me. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Pakistan. Well, Pakistan's lovely. Yes. Yeah, thank okay. you. Yeah. Have fun. Have fun. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Have a good day. Have a safe day. Thank you. You too. Oh man, people are here are crazy, man. This is incredible. 
Um, wow, I love Pakistan. This place is amazing. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so you guys are here on a school trip, or yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Yes, you like it here? Yes. Yeah. Nice yeah, museum. A lot. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah, you, know, you like the planes, yeah? Yes. yes. <laughs> awesome. Nice to meet you all. Thank yes, you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. From UK. You are so cute. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello, Hello, guys. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, what better place to finish this video with than by this beautiful, special, painted Pakistan Air Force plane here at the PAF Museum. What an amazing livery that is. Isn't that cool? Um, and just like the rest of Pakistan, which has been so amazing, um, such a beautiful country, the people here, as you've seen hopefully in these videos, have been absolutely amazing. Just so lovely um, and I've really really enjoyed my time here in Pakistan. I've not quite finished here yet, I've got one more video to do here before I finish the whole Pakistan adventure um, but let me know what you think to it so far down in the comments and let me know what you thought of this video as well, I'd love to hear your thoughts as always. Well thank you so much for watching in the meantime, take care and I'll see you on the next one, bye for now.